right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. So we have another uh, kind of like section sequence grouping uh, of missions, 10th anniversary missions here, um, which we can go ahead and take down um, in order to get more of these coins, right? Now, I would heavily encourage players. I mean, a lot of people are obviously aren't going to watch this, but I would heavily encourage players to make sure to get this done. Um, we don't know for sure everything the coins are going to be used for, but, I mean, you definitely could get stones and good stuff here. Um, so, certain characters have debuted after the end of the second anniversary celebration. Before the end of the fourth anniversary celebration, we strengthen for a limited time. Okay, so it's probably going to go up to, what, Baby and Goku, Trunks, and Pan? Well, at least the characters in this. We know that buffed characters are the third and fourth anniversary LRs. Uh, we can get the 10th anniversary warm of coins. Uh, oh, upon the arrival of 10th anniversary, you could exchange them for up to 30 stones, is it? Okay. A little low. I mean, the celebration overall is going to give over 1,000, but yeah, whatever, okay. Uh, and then statues, Kai's, okay. Um, and then complete the missions to get the coins. So we have a couple of strengthened characters. They get 800% attack, 1,000% defense, and a 100% chance to crit. These four characters, awesome stuff. Um, and then they're also strengthened after they fuse, okay? This goes until mid-January. So probably, like, the data download that institutes the countdown celebration beginning is probably when they'll get returned to normal. This is a good precedent for the game, by the way. I, I do like this. Because, I mean, they're buffing characters who are years and years old. They could use this to make teams a little bit artificially better right around when new characters come out, which I, I do personally think would be a good thing, right? Like, it, you know, Boo Saga was very good for Golden Week, which I think was the most important, and it's fallen off since, which I guess is fine. But, like, yeah, like, the teams being good, like, Super Bosses was never as good as it should have been, ever, ever, never once. Like, if we had had, I don't know, like, AGL Rosé, like, if he was, like, buffed for the first couple of months to be, like, a god or something like that, that would have been huge, huge. So there's that. Um, so we have, you know, more of these missions. Let's see what we got to do here. Oh, I guess I could just show this rather than this, because, I, dude, I, this just looks so bad. Like, I don't know what's going on with this. It's, like, ads, but this... Bro, Dokkan Info, man, we got to make some changes. This site has got to get better, but whatever. Uh, okay, so stage 10 of Dragon Ball History... Stage four of Boss Rush. We got to do a Boss Rush one. Kind of boring, but okay. Uh, GT Legendary Goku event. Um, and then any stage of the movie Red Zone. Okay. So, we're starting with Physical Final Form Cooler. That's the first character that released after the uh, second anniversary. Yep. And then we're going all the way. So, this is all the premium units. Wait, what about like... It's only Dokkan Fest. Jiren, Turles. So, it's only... Wait, wh wh wait wh which one is this? Oh, that's physical Broly. Yeah, it's physical DBS Broly. No, here we go. Yeah, this is uh, LR Tech, Goku Black, and Zamasu. STR LR Broly, AGL Majin Vegeta, second Super Saiyan, physical LR Trunks. Okay. So all the Dokkan Fests go up to obviously to, you know, fourth anniversary. Yup. And then we do have the LRs. Yeah, the order of this list, if you guys notice, is the JP order, even though we're looking at the global news. Because it's like in Gohan, then Majin Vegeta, then Broly. That's the the JP order of release. Even though for global, it was what? Mm. It was Broly, Majin Vegeta, then Gohan. That, that was the order for global. Yeah. Okay. So those are the characters to use um, after they do kind of awaken. All right. Well, let's just jump in. We'll just get all these missions done real quick. Um, I'll just probably try and use a bunch of these characters. Let's just have fun crushing content, I guess. All right, guys. We're here in an event. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do stage 10 of Infinite Dragon Ball History first. Um, the stage is against Majin Buu, huh? Been quite a while since I've done a lot of these older, um, stages and stuff like that. I've never really been much reason to. I mean, I guess one thing that's nice about some of these Infinite Dragon Ball History stages, of course, um, could be the length of the fights is obviously very good. 
Uh, so I figured we'd jump in with the Super Saiyan team. Uh, because we're fighting Majin Buu characters, um, I kind of made the focal point um, the, you know, like Int and STR Vegitos. Uh, and then, of course, we could use the third anniversary LRs and stuff like that. Yeah, so, I mean, it'll be fun using their numbers. I, I think I'm probably going to do a long video for them. What I'll probably do, um, I think we might do, like, a long video where we'll do both of the Super Saiyan 4s together. Um, and then we'll do a long video where we do both of the third anniversary LRs together. I Typically, I wouldn't like to do that. I really do like to give characters their own specific stuff. But I, it is there is very little difference between the characters. Like, both fourth anniversary LRs and both third anniversary LRs. Um, I mean, I guess once the fusions happen, obviously, they're quite a bit different. The Gogeta and Vegito. But, I mean, like, Vegeta and Goku are pretty much the same thing. Right, it's because they don't like those care those guys. It's funny, like they easy aid. It was only in 2022. It's not like they. Well, I guess it was three years ago, but about to be three years ago. But because uh, they, you know, like the Super Saiyan fours don't really have mechanics. It's just they're just raw stats, basically. Is what they. But it's like it's a lot of it's a lot of fucking stats. <laughs> it's a lot of stats, dude. Um, yeah, and I mean, like if we're talking like an issue for for them. There's this, and that's key, is is definitely, um, like, a major sore spot for the third anniversary LRs. Like, they specifically need uh, an orb, like, a rainbow orb changer, for sure. I mean, we do have Tech Gogeta around for a reason, right? But, because um, they get so much extra key uh, from rainbow orbs, both, both of the third anniversary LRs. Yeah, dude, it is crazy. Like, look at the difference between, like, Vegeta's damage. And then, like, this character easy age 500 years ago, right? Like, it's like, they don't they don't have much in terms of defensive mechanics. But, again, like, they do hit very hard. Because they're also 100% guaranteed critting. Which, as you guys might imagine, is very good. <laughs> That's a very good ability. It's pretty sick when you just guaranteed crit on everything. I can't wait, man. I, there's no way... That this is like the only time they're gonna do this too, right? There's no way. So like we're gonna get a lot of this moving forward. I'm sure. I love it. I love it. All right, let's get Tech Gogeta out here. Uh, no reason not to. Um, we're going up against uh, this bad boy. All right, let's just go ahead and have Gogeta sit you down. I don't like. There's nothing. There's no possible way that the stage can compete with us at all. It is funny. They the buffs are as substantial as they are for the third and fourth anniversary LRs because. I, I mean, all of this content is like cannot stand up to them whatsoever. No way, right? Like, like you know, we could go fight Red Zone Broly, and it's like, dude, like we'll just disintegrate him in two seconds. I'm not sure what stage we'll do, by the way. Um, yeah, what 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 stage do I want to do uh, for the movie Red Zone? I guess the thing is, is that we've been... Oh, perfect. We get this. This very rare animation right here. Lovely. Yeah, that's fire. Awesome. Um, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not sure. Because Red Zone Movie Boss Rush has been an event we've done so much throughout the year, right? So, like, with that having been done so much, I mean, we've seen a lot of those bosses. I mean, we could jump into, like, the Janemba fight, I guess. Could be fun. Um, Again, like, obviously, we could do Broly. Not really too sure. All right, well, let's just go ahead and have uh, Tech Gogeta just uh, dodge a Roo right there, I guess. We'll do that. Uh, just hit that right there for you. Um, and then we'll hit that right there. Bam. Easy peasy. Yeah, th this is this is long. How many phases is this? Let's see. It's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is an eight-phase fight. Quite a bit. Yeah, because we still have to go through... Uh, Buff Boo, you know, South Supreme Kai Absorb Boo, and then also uh, Kid Boo. Wow, we actually did not one-shot him? What? Huh? 10 million HP with 69% damage reduction. Did not get one-shotted. That's crazy. Okay. And then Buff Boo is weaker. 8.5 million with lower damage reduction. And he does lower damage straight up, too. Uh, we could toss this. I actually, I want to play this, too. This is just one of my favorites. I'm playing it. It's 
See ya, boo! <laughs> Probably shouldn't be playing animations, because we're going to be in here for quite a while, right? There's, you know, a couple of longer events we got to do to get all the missions done. Um, all right, well, let's just go and transform into Super Saiyan Vegeta, then. Let's do that. Uh, well, I'm going to put Gogeta in slot one. Nice rainbow orb changing, Gogeta, by the way. Um, I'll hit that. Yeah, perfect. There you go. Make sure they get up. Damn, that didn't, that didn't even get them the 24 key. Damn. Okay. All right, there's Kid Buu. Dodge it. Yep. Of course. Damn. LR Kid Buu. When is LR Kid Buu coming, guys? When is he finally going to show himself to us? What day is he finally going to show up? LR Kid Buu. He's got him, man. One day. One day. One day. 10th anniversary LR Kid Boo. I'm down with it. I'd love it. 100% on board. 10th anniversary LR Kid Boo. 200%. 500% down with it. All right. What, what's the next uh, stage we're going to do? Stage four of Boss Rush. Stage four, huh? Let me take a look at what um, fights it is. Because I, I, I want to try and bring some characters. Okay, uh, stage four. Yep, we got this up. Jesus, okay. Well, this is loading forever, dude. Okay. So, um, oh, here we go. Got to show that the mission, the mission is completed. We got that done. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got this one done. That's the Infinite Drama History stage. So this is the boss rush. Super 17, Gogeta, Janemba, Gotenks, and Super Saiyan 3 Broly. That is the stage we're going to do right there. That's the next one we're doing. Stage 4 of Boss Rush. So we'll bring some characters for that. All right, guys. We'll jump in like this. Uh, just using um, a lot of characters from that time period. Uh, remember that the tech full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku... Uh, he was in that time period as well. So basically, um, the characters that we could use here are pretty much any characters. I guess we could kind of just turn auto on, huh? Um, we could use any characters that were basically for almost all of 2017, besides the two anniversary headliners, the OG Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. But most 2017 characters, all 2018 characters, um, and then the first four characters of 2019, which obviously is the LR Super Saiyan 4s, um, Super Baby 2, and Goku Trunks and Pan. The first Dokkan live stream was actually 2019 during the fourth anniversary for part two. I remember it was, it was awesome. Also, one of the best moments um, in Dokkan history for sure Wow, no additionals, huh? Uh, but also, one of the best moments in Dokkan history, for sure, was the live performance of um, uh, Dan Dan, the GT uh, opening, right? That was so fire. Damn, that was good. Back in the day, man, that was... Whew, I remember that. I was actually... I remember. I was playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Right before that stream. I remember it. I'm pretty sure the stream was in the middle of the night for me, too. Like, 5 a.m. or something? I think. I think. But, I mean, I guess that was all of a sudden now about to be six years ago. Damn, Kingdom Hearts 3 came out six years ago. That's wild. And, and that was, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out after it had been announced basically six years earlier, right? Crazy. Crazy. All right, well, we'll go ahead and torch through this uh, stage right here. Well, I guess one thing I probably should have considered, although, at, like, the LR Super Saiyan 4s are going to be wait They're just going to blow this guy away. But remember, this guy, you know, introduced into the game, changed the way the game worked. Oh, he's good. He's... No, this will hit him. Yeah, it just... Okay. Yep, bye. <laughs> okay. Yep, see ya, bud. Okay, see ya, idiot. Uh, yeah, remember, so he's all... So Super 17 was introduced into the game. Remember that stacking abilities and stuff like that would reset every phase. Could you can you believe how ass that would have been for stacking abilities to reset 
every phase, that shit would be so trash. I, that that completely changed the game. But they had to do that in order to make Super 17 good based on how they wanted to make him. Um, and then that's when they also... It was, a, a, I think, in my opinion, it was a better system back then. But every attack was either a key blast or not a key blast, essentially. Is, is every attack was. And I, I kind of, like, I like that system better than what they gave us. Oh, like, easily, easily. I like it better. Typically, the way they uh, calc or decided it back then was, like, if it's, you know, if it starts with a key blast, oftentimes it was just a key blast, right? But if it didn't start with a key blast, like, if there was a combo into it, then it would just be, you know, whatever. So it's basically key blast and other. It's kind of like what, basically what it was back then. But now we have key blast. We have like the, the melee or combo attacks. Uh, we have the weapon attacks. But then what's so stupid is then there's the other attack, the undefined attack. The fact that that even exists is just I, I, like clown shit, I think. I think it's just clown mode, clown bullshit. There's no reason in the world why uh, <laughs> why we need like half of the super attacks in the game to just be undefined I, like i think it's it's just i don't know it's set up to be annoying but i mean it can i suppose make some of these bosses fun i actually really liked red zone kid boo i thought that was a great difficult content fight that dokan made um especially because so like you you okay so there's the it's a two phase fight but they allowed you the ability, if, you know, your team building is strong enough or your characters are strong enough, um, they allowed you the ability to kill the first phase, and if you kill the first phase, the fight is over. I always like that. Um, and then, obviously, in Kid Boo himself is very crazy, but then he has that melee nullification, so anytime you try and do melee attacks, those, of course, would get blocked. So, I, I, I thought that that was a really good design for that fight. I remember a lot of a lot of global players didn't like it at the time, but they weren't like warmed up to ninth anniversary content yet, right? Like that was kind of like the first like ninth anniversary level style stage that global players got. It was right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I I, I did I did think that uh, that red zone kid boo fight at the time that was on par with like the nastier stages uh, that were available on JP too. Um, I, I think like in hindsight. I do think that Cell Max was the hardest. Like, you could, you know, take out Cell Max with your gimmick characters, right? Ghost Ushers and shit like that. But um, I do think that that was kind of, like, the the toughest one for sure. Uh, Cell Max. That, that Cell Max fight was uh, pretty tough. All right, so here's our first Dokkan attack. Uh, oh, this is actually going to be perfect. Are we going to have LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta next turn? Because remember, bosses cannot dodge um, active skills. They can nullify it, but they can't dodge it. So we'll just... LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is just going to pop his active uh, and just blow Janemba straight into Kingdom Come. What is the next run we have to do? It's GT Legendary Goku event? Yeah, there's only four this time. I feel like that... Was there longer in the first batch? I think so. But yeah, GT Legendary Goku event, and then we got to do the movie Red Zone stage. Um, I'm, I suppose for, like, movie Red Zone, we could just do... Like, kind of like a shorter one. Like, we don't need to do Red Zone Broly. We could. What What are the fights again? So, it's Turles, Slug, Cooler, Fusion 13, Bojack, Janemba, Broly, and then obviously the, the movie Boss Rush stage. I mean, we could do the Lord Slug fight. I mean, that, since the, that's the current Dokkan Fest celebration going on right now, Lord Slug, right? Uh, I, so I remember when these fights first came out, and I remember Lord Slug vividly. I remember physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku getting one shot by Lord Slug and being like, damn, okay, this guy just came out, right? People are clamoring at the top of their lungs that that guy's the best TUR. Um, and he just got one cold-blooded one shot. That cooler fight, I remember being challenging. And then they busted out. Damn, dude. Once they did Bojack, Janemba, and Broly, that was one of the most insane content drop days in Dokkan history. They dropped Red Zone, B 
Bojack, Red Zone Janemba, Red Zone Broly, Red Zone Super 17, the Shadow Dragon Red Zone Sage, and then the Omega Red Zone Sage. That was crazy. And then I, I've said it, I mean, it's a, it was weeks before, like, no item runs of Broly and Omega were done. Because th those stages were just so far above all characters. It was so crazy. Because remember, that was a completely different time. I mean, even, you know, the LR Super Saiyan 4s are still just all stats. Like, characters didn't have... Oh, it's Super Attack Dodge. What? Okay. Uh, obviously, for this guy, I do not have a dodge build on him. Cheeky dodge at all. He, he just has five dodge. I actually have a full raw defensive build, I believe, on my LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Because, like, he has to take those hits. So, um, it does make a, a lot of sense. Hmm. Alrighty, then. Alright, so this is the final stage. This, I... Have done this so much. This Super Saiyan 3 Broly stage. This has been like a go-to showcase stage for me for years now. This one. Because um, it's like we get to the second phase. And then what's big about this is we have Paragus and Broly. But they're able to be debuffed by anything. So a lot of times many characters, you know, would, you know, oh, extra stats if the enemy is stunned or something like that. So we could always showcase that in here against the immortal Broly, right? Um, and then, you know, even because when we're bringing real teams, even, you know, some of the hardest fights in the game can go down very, very fast. All right, Broly, see you later, alligator. All right, so we're going to go to the GT legendary goku event next so i guess we could we could run like baby baby would be good for that one right uh let's see we could do all of 2017 so we could do like physical omega and stuff like that oh my god run gt bosses i guess we could we gotta run gt bosses what do you guys think gt bosses time we can get super 17 in there yeah i guess i guess the only thing is, like, there's no way GT bosses would struggle in the GT Legendary Goku, right? 40 million. All right, bye. Goodbye. I still w I wish they would change his face, right, into more of, like, the icon, like, a Vegeta. Like, I don't know. Like, like I, I wish his face was more, like, after he does, like, the Big Bang or something like that, right? I mean, it's a nitpick, but that's, that was something we talked about a lot back when that guy first came out, right? Uh, not really a big fan of kind of the face Vegeta makes um, after he does that. All right, this typically takes... Yeah, this loading screen takes 10 years. All right, so next what we're going to do, we're going to jump into the GT Legendary Goku event right there. Um, and I think we'll bring a lot of the GT boss type characters. We'll see. Um, I mean, am I going to have a friend Omega available to us on the friends list? I, I can't tell you. I don't know. I got no clue, bruh. No clue. All right, well, there we go. We got the mission done. Perfect. Uh, new record by seven minutes. Sure, I'll take it. All right, gamers, let's go. GT Legendary Goku event. We're going to run GT Bosses. Uh, there's no way we're going to struggle, right? I kind of want to play Omega's intro, though. I Whenever I get a chance to use Omega, it's like, bro, we got to, we got to, we got to, we got to play it. We gotta play it. We're at what? 24 minutes? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, so let's take this down. Then we got just the red zone movie or the, the movie red zone stage. Remember, there are two movie red zones. So obviously, we need to do the first one. Alright, let's get this going. There he is, Goat Mega. 
We could probably just sit auto on for this, right? Damn, I'm actually a little nervous. I mean, G GT bosses is actually that bad that I'm nervous. <laughs> a little nervous. All right, let's get Super 17 some hits. I'm not sure if I made Super 17 a dodge build character. I don't think I did. Um, that would, you know, probably be best towards winning, obviously, but, uh, Super 17 does need to get hit, obviously. And maybe I could have, maybe we should have done this a little bit differently. If we're going to be doing zero damage to the bosses like this, maybe I could have did this a little bit different. I'm not going to do all, yeah, no way, we're not doing auto. Uh, because remember, Omega, he does need to do a lot of attacks to build up, right? I will never understand why they built Omega the way they did, it makes no sense to me. That, like, they... Like, you can't... Like, GT bosses could have worked if they had made Omega... Like, he would need to still be an effective character. Like, if they did that to where he was still effective, uh, like, then Omega would have been really good, right? But it's just like, they... GT bosses, please, dude. Alright, so now we could rock these two together. Um, I definitely am going to save the actives for as long as possible, I guess. Uh, and then we do have Super Baby 2, who's pretty effective. Remember, Super Baby 2 and Goku, Trunks, and Pan, they're essentially the final characters on the list for the missions, right? That are actually going to be, uh, good for the characters they want us to use. I just want to double check Omega. Omega does build up damage by attacking right that's what he does so he gets 20 percent attack with each attack performed up to a max of 150 percent attack yeah so let's just keep building him up uh here i'm gonna put super 17 in slot one one more time uh that way super 17 is gonna be able to be fully built up as well should be careful, because this Goku lowers defense when he supers you, right? So he can actually uh, put quite a bit of damage on you if he can lower your defense. Like, I think that was the, kind of the whole point of this, right? Is that this Goku would wear you down a little bit, lower your defense, taking you into the, um, the whatchamacallit phase, the STR phase, uh, the Great Ape. Remember, the Great Ape phase is kind of, oh, he dodges too, little bastard. Uh, that STR Great Ape phase is kind of like the toughest phase there is. Sort of. Because he just hits so hard. Right? The, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku is really not that scary. Um, Alright. Type Disadvantage Super. How are we doing? Wow, dude. Are you kidding me? GT Bosses is for real that bad. It's for, for real that bad, dude. Come on. That's so sad. That's so sad. That's so stupid. You are shitting me, dude. Bro, what is up with the slot three supers lately? I'd be getting bullied in slot three, man. People go, oh my god, your your team is so bad. You're so stupid. Bro, I'm getting peppered by slot three supers, dude. God damn it. Slot three super bosses should be banned. From Super and in slot 3, man. This is crazy. Alright, I'm going to leave. Uh, so, Super 17 is fully built up now. So, now I'm just going to go to uh, Baby on rotation. Uh, remember, there's one extra little part of Omega that I really hate. I don't know why they did this to him. Um, is that his rainbow orb changing is only for the first 7 turns for Omega. So, that's it for his rainbow orb changing. And then after that, I mean, the, you know, he gets... Orb changing is so big. Oh, nice. Hit him potential system additional super. That's good to get that attack build up. They were also insane, dude. He needs to attack, what? Five, six, seven, eight times in order to fully build up. That is insanity. Eight attacks to fully build up this kid. Uh, this is a bit scary. He's completely immune to debuffs, too. Uh, I'm gonna play both of these. I mean, these are some pretty rare animations, I guess, or whatever. Let's just play them. Oh, 
遊びは終わりだ。We're not exactly doing too much damage here. Uh, I'm gonna float Texan. What do you guys think the chances are that he's supering us in that last slot? We do have to give Texan orbs. Damn, I think it's seven gives him an additional super, right? Dude, th this Super Saiyan 4 Goku is gonna one shot Texan, and I'm gonna be hot. This is what I get for running GT <laughs> GT boxes. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. GT bosses. We're up to eleven right here. It's because we have. I think we have all seven links up. Okay. Yeah. Remember. I mean, his revive. Ne no, dude. Come on. His revive has to be up in order to um. Like, he has to revive in order to be able to get the super effect against all types. Uh, and the guaranteed additional super in his kit. It's really stupid. His design is just so bad. It's so bad. Okay. Sure, no super. That's good. Alright, Baby has got hands for this fool. Let's just do this. Uh, we'll be able to finish him easily. We're not going to need to use um, the active for this Omega right here. Okay. I'm also not the biggest fan of his revive condition either. We have to be below 50% at the start of turn um, in order to trigger the revive. Not really too good, right? Because it's just so many bosses. I mean, it's been like this for a while, but they oftentimes don't whittle you down. They just blow you into hell, right? One of the reasons why HP conditions can be so inconsistent to get. That's why, I, I mean, I do really like the Trunks and Goten fight. Being able to intentionally damage ourselves is good. Alright, this guy is not going to be able to damage us at all. Uh, I don't, even though it's type disadvantage, I, I just don't think that his stats are high enough. This, this, let me actually double check that. What, how, how hard does this boy hit? Let's see. That would be so shameful, dude. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say. There's no way. Uh, Omega is a carnival LR, man. Uh, I'm looking for the GT legendary Goku event. It's hard to find. I found it. Here it is. Alright, let's see. What, what damage does that full power Goku use? He does 630k with the Dragon Fist. 630. He dodges. Obviously, he cancels dodge. His normals are only 180k. That's so low. His cooldown is 11. Yeah. Obviously, 630k damage, though. You know, a lot for back in the day when, um, like, a lot of characters didn't really have defensive mechanics, right? Uh, all right, so we'll toss this. I mean, it's probably not really going to do very much, but... Yeah. All right, with the attack break, though, we could put Sin in slot one. Sin is probably our best bet to doing maximum damage with this Dokkan attack right here. At, at attack break, we'll get rid of that, and then Sin could probably finish this off right here. Had, had you guys know. Had to lock in. Had to lock in right there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I think baby. Baby should be able to finish. Uh, judging by that damage, I don't think we're going to have anything to worry about um, in terms of uh, Texan. Yep, 14 million right there, okay. Yeah, we've we've done our eight atta eight attacks to build him up. 
<laughs> Very good. Oh, we got a nice little crit right there. Okay, cool. All right, one more run to do, and then we'll have all of the missions done. Just got to go ahead into the uh, silliness of Red Zone uh, Boss Rush. All right, let's skip this loading. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we got that one done. All right, so now let's just knock down a Red Zone uh, movie stage, and we are good to go. All right, guys, let's go. We're going to do Red Zone Lord Slug because Goat Slug, he's got it. He finally has a character. All right, so, yeah, kind of strange that uh, the one guy... I don't know his name, unfortunately. This guy right here. That's who uh, Pic Piccolo takes him down, right? Uh, he did not get a new card in this celebration. Kind of odd, right, that all three of them were not part of the card, I guess? I don't know. Maybe it's not a big deal. Or, like, they could have given a second banner unit. I mean, honestly, they've done a good job with building up Slug's team, especially some of these heroes characters. I think, like, Toa, Scientist Toa. Um, and... Wait, wh we're not killing him? What? This dog shit character is this bad? No, dude. What? What is this? Oh, my God. I, I mean, I, I bring that... They still have, like, pr practically the best super class leader skill. I, my bad. I thought that they could... Yeah, move aside. The much better character will show you how it's done. My god. What type of damage are they doing? Was that not just insane? Those two million attack stats. That shit's not just a meme, dude. That's real. This is real life. They come out and they're doing two million, man. Crazy. Just crazy. Yeah, get me out of here. The second I see this character show up, I'm getting... I guess salt, man. Real, real salty. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here, too. <laughs> okay. All right, what do we got now? What bullshit? All right, let's get... Uh, you know what, Slug? Get out of here. I was going to let Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta attack, but... We're definitely not letting the blues at the end get an attack in. That's for goddamn sure. Guys, right, so this will one-shot him. It's got it, right? 100% crit? I don't know how much health Slug actually has. Yeah. And then we still have one more phase left. The giant phase. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's see. Uh, Okay, so... I mean, I guess synergy is not the greatest here. That is six. Okay, let's hit that. Let's hit this. Then we'll hit that. Probably should have prioritized Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Dodge it. Yes. They came through. I mean, it would have done no damage anyway. But they still came through. Okay. Alright, Tech VB, show us how it's done. Not normals, though. Supers. Not normal. Supers. Bro. Is he for real? Dude, come on! What? Bro. <laughs> come on! Is he out of his mind, Tech VB? No, dude. Wow, we didn't even one turn it. Well, don't worry. Because we could just do this. See you later, goat slug. Goodbye. That's GG. He's out of here. <laughs> I love Lord Slug. One of my faves for sure. Well, chat. Let me know what you guys think about the missions. I guess we do need to go accept them, of course. 
Uh, so we'll go accept these missions, and then that is going to be that. Let's skip the loading screen. Wabam! There it is. Mission obtained. We got it done. All right, very good. Yep, got it all handled. All right, so let's go ahead and head on over to here and accept all of our missions, and we finish it off. Uh, I would definitely advise you guys to get this done. I mean, if anyone is still watching this. Because um, I saw a lot of players, like, trying to get it in last second, and... I mean, it's still going to be some nice rewards for later on. So let's go ahead and grab all that. Bam. We get all of our coins. And then that's that. I'll catch y'all in a month where we do uh, some more missions for the next couple of anniversaries. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch y'all next time.